On a beautiful summer night in Los Angeles, a crowd of music lovers gathered at the iconic outdoor venue to indulge in an evening of Gershwin classics, performed by Prince and his band. The Orchestra of St. Luke's provided backing as Prince mesmerized the audience with beloved tunes, like Someone to Watch Over Me, Swanderful, and Fascinating Rhythm. Meghan and Harry made a fashionable entrance, arriving late and taking their seats in a VIP section near the stage. Meghan was captured in photos wearing an elegant white dress and diamond earrings, while Harry looked dapper in a navy suit. Their arrival didn't go unnoticed, as many in the crowd began whispering and pointing in their direction. However, the mood quickly shifted from curiosity to mockery. During Prince's rendition of, They Can't Take That Away From Me, a male voice, from the audience shouted derogatory remarks about a royal title, followed by loud gasps. Megan visibly blushed and looked down at her lap, while jeers and laughter erupted around her. Harry tried to identify the culprit in the darkness but couldn't. Sensing the tension, Prince paused his performance momentarily and shot a disapproving look to silence the crowd. He then directly addressed the audience, urging them to continue celebrating love and music without insults. Polite applause followed, and the focus shifted back to the performance. However, it seemed that the mockery had only just begun. During an upbeat number, two women near the front started chanting, one of us, one of us, while waving their arms like a cult. More people joined in the mocking cheer, and it spread through sections of the audience. Cameras captured Megan's pained expression, and Harry gripped his armrest tightly in frustration. The final straw came towards the end of the concert, as Prince played the famous love song, Someone to Watch Over Me. A group of millennials in the rear rose from their seats, and turned their backs to the stage. Some held up phones displaying edited photos of Meghan superimposed onto Mount Rushmore, accompanied by the caption, America's New Royalty. Laughter and jeers drowned out the music for a few moments until security intervened, and the group sat back down. When the concert concluded with thunderous applause, Meghan and Harry swiftly exited, avoiding post-concert mingling. Meghan kept her head down, concealing tears, while flashing cameras documented their hasty retreat to their waiting of. As they sped away, the echoes of booing and mocking cheers still resonated from the dispersing crowd. Clearly, this was an incredibly uncomfortable experience for Meghan, who has faced ongoing criticism from sections of the British and American public since marrying Prince Harry in 2018. Controversy surrounding their decision to step back from royal duties and move to California, along with allegations of bullying royal staff, has polarized opinions about the couple. While some defend Meghan and decry the attacks as racism, Others believe she has damaged the reputation of the royal family and question her understanding of royal protocols after a life in Hollywood. Undoubtedly, the mocking concert ambush, which occurred just days after the release of their daughter Lilibet's highly scrutinized first birthday photos, will only fuel more negative press. It remains to be seen if Meghan and Harry will attend public events like this in the future. Given the evident security and emotional risks involved, supporters argue that they deserve respect like any other celebrity or citizen while detractors believe that as unofficial ambassadors of the British crown, they must accept a higher level of public judgment, even mockery, at times. Regardless of where one stands on this debate, it is crucial to acknowledge that humiliating or endangering anyone is unacceptable. As for Prince's fantastic Gershwin concert, the talented musician handled the awkward moment, with grace by redirecting the focus back to the beautiful music. Ultimately, cultural events should celebrate the arts and their power to unite people, transcending life's complex divisions. These are the main details of what transpired at the Hollywood Bowl concert last night, based on reports. As always, I encourage a balanced and respectful discussion, seeking to understand different perspectives. Share your thoughts in the comments on whether Megan was unfairly targeted, or if public figures must accept a higher level of mockery at times. Let's strive for harmony as we navigate these conversations. Thank you for reading.